Welcome to Fiber Chronicles. I am Bonnie and in this video I will be showing you how to do the pinhole cast on the crochet hook method. It starts out the same as the magic ring beginning for doing amigurami or any crocheting in the round if you use that method rather than doing chain stitches to and then knitting and then crocheting into the chain stitches. You start by putting two fingers out together and you take your tail end of your yarn and wrap in a clockwise manner crossing over and so that then you have two strands with it crossing as you wrap so the working yarn is to the left of the first strand. I then use my other fingers to hold on to that just to keep it so that it, is, it has some tension to it and then I get my crochet hook. You want to get a crochet hook that is appropriate for using with the yarn you're using and is maybe slightly smaller than the needle size that you will be using for the pattern. Then you come under the right hand strand in between your fingers and over the left hand strand putting the hook downward and then you let the hook grab that yarn, the left strand, and pull it up. And as you pull up, you twist it. So you have yarn, the yarn twisted around the hook and coming under the right hand strand. So now you have this, and but that isn't secure because it's just twisted around it. So what you need to do is then tilt your hook down to the left of the working yarn that you're holding with your smaller fingers and grab that and twist it around and then pull it through that twisted loop. But let me pull this out and show you what I have. I have a loop, the yarn knotted around the string, and then the tail yarn. Now pick up stitches around the double strands on this side. It doesn't matter how you tension the, the working yarn here. You will be holding it and so there is some tension and you will be doing, if you know how to crochet, you will be doing basically half of a single crochet in US terminology. Now you will take the crochet hook, curve it around, go inside this loop that you started that used to be on your fingers, come up, grab, and it doesn't matter which direction you grab, whatever is comfortable, so you can grab this way if you want to, that's not very comfortable for me so I don't, or you can grab this way, pull it up, you have this second loop but that is not secure. To secure it is the way a single crochet is made, except you will only be doing half of the next step. So then you'll go under and grab the yarn again and pull it through only the first loop. Now there are two loops on the hook, or two stitches. So now we're going to do that again. My pattern calls for six, stitch, uh, six stitches being cast on with the pinhole cast on. So then again, I'll go through that loop hook the working yarn, pull it up, hook the working yarn again, and pull it through just one loop on the hook. Now I have three stitches. And again, four stitches, and again, five stitches. Now let me do this one slow motion again just to make sure that you're seeing what I'm doing. You go in between this loop, under, grab the working yarn with the hook, pull it up through that, then go to the left to grab that working yarn again with the hook and pull it through the first loop on the hook. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, that's how many I want. I now can look at this and see that I have this big loop that doesn't look like a pinhole 
which, which it won't now. I, you don't have to, but I like to pull this out and so it's no longer twisted around. I leave it twisted around while I'm working it because that just makes it a little more secure. And this is what you're going to pull to tighten up. With this for right now, you do not want to tighten it up really tight, but you do want to pull it up and you just don't need to tug it yet. Take your double pointed needles that you're going to be working with. You could slip all of your stitches onto one needle and then work from there. But what I like to do, since my preferred crochet hooks just have the shaft that goes all the way down, and yeah, this is wider, but it's also thinner this way. And so the stitches will still fit, is I just push it down to the other end. Many crochet hooks these days, you can't do this. And so you would need to slip them all onto one needle to do the next steps. This is the front of the work. So you wanna make sure your working yarn is on top and your tail is down below. Grasp your working yarn and tension it the way you usually would with knitting. And what I need to do now is knit all the way around. So, and I want to have two stitches on each needle. So I will just go ahead and knit off the end. This is not, the crochet hook doesn't have a point on the end. I would love to get one that does because that would make it easier, but it's not a really big deal to do it this way. So I will knit one. And then I'll kind of pull that tighter, not tug it, but pull it and so that looseness isn't there. Kind of like when you are doing an I-cord that when you, you want to make sure it's not going to be all sloppy. Knit two. That's all I want on this needle. So then I can pick up my next needle. Making sure not to get any yarn overs when I do that. Knit one. Knit two. My needle is getting stuck in my tablecloth. And then the next needle, knit one, and oh, I'm getting my needle stuck around in my fingers, knit two. Now some people say go ahead and pull this extra tight now. I find that doing one more round of the pattern will uh, make it easier to pull tight properly. Okay, now I have the second round done after doing the cast on. So now I want to flip this over. And as you can see, this is the working yarn. This is the tail. And all I need to do now is kind of flatten that out and pull. And it will pull up slack. You wanna pull, you know, not so that it will break the yarn, but so that it's nice and tight. And sometimes you get a little extra, it seems like it's tight and then that little extra tug will then pull another slack out and that extra pulling slack out is what locks it into a pinhole cast on that will not open up again. And you don't always feel it, it depends on the yarn you're using, but sometimes you do feel that and if you do feel it you know you're secure and it will not open. Uh, I hope that was understandable for you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'm happy to answer any comments. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.